I'm Nin. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to make one pot chicken green curry rice. I will cook everything in this pot. Trust me, it's easy and super delicious. So first, I'm going to start by marinating the chicken. I'm using chicken legs and thighs, but you can use chicken breast if you like. After transferring it into a mixing bowl, I will add chili flakes, palm sugar, green curry paste, coconut milk, salt, and black pepper. If you want to know how to make your own Thai green curry paste, I will leave the link in the description. I'm going to use my hand to mix and rub the marinade with the chicken wheel. Then, I'm going to bring it to sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to start by preparing the vegetables. I'm going to take care of bell pepper first. I will just cut it into bite-sized pieces. Don't cut it into small chunks because it will be too soft at the end. I decided to use red pepper and yellow peppers because it's sweeter than the green ones and also it's colorful. Actually, you can add more veggies you want like carrots, peas, mushrooms, eggplants or zucchini. After setting the bell pepper aside, it's onion. As you can see, I have a big onion here, so I'm going to use half of it. I will just slice it, not too thick but not too thin either. Last is garlic. I will use a knife to break it up, then finally chop it. Now all the veggies are prepared, so I'm going to start by searing the chicken. I'm going to heat the vegetable oil in a pot over medium heat. Until the oil is hot, I will add the chicken, skin side down. You want to give it a sear for about 3 to 4 minutes until the chicken skin turns nice and golden brown. After that, you will flip the chicken and let it cook for a few minutes or until it's almost cooked. Then, I'm going to transfer it to a plate and set it aside until it's ready to use. Next, I'm going to fry Thai green curry paste with some coconut milk. In the same pot, pour in coconut milk and some curry paste. You want to give it a good mix, then let the paste fry with the chicken oil and the coconut milk to let everything release its aroma. It will take about 2-3 to three minutes. After that, it's time to bring in the chopped garlic, chopped onion, and chopped bell pepper. Give it a stir and let it cook for a minute or until it's wilted. Now I'm going to add Thai jasmine rice but you can add any grain rice you have. Now season it with fish sauce, palm sugar, and MSG. It's optional, but I recommend you to adding it. Stir to mix until the sugar is dissolved. Pour in the water and the coconut milk. I will give it a stir to spread the rice grains to let it cook evenly in the pot. Then, layer the chicken on top of everything. Cover it and turn the heat down to a low simmer. I will let it cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. So in the meantime, if you like this video so far, please give me a like Subscribe for more yummy recipe every Saturday. Before you are going to serve this green curry rice, let's garnish with some Thai sweet basil and red chili slices. Both will freshen up the taste of your dish. Look at this! The rice and the chicken are cooked through and also it absorbed all the curry and the coconut milk. This looks delicious and smells amazing. This is awesome Thai fusion dish. I really hope you will give it a try because it's yummy. Once again, if you like to make your own Thai green curry paste at home, also Thai green curry soup, let's have a look at this video. Alright, thank you so much for watching. See you next week.
ขอบคุณค่ะบ๊ายบาย